What's up everyone? Today we're gonna attempt something pretty cool. We're gonna take a tall canyon road down to State Highway 33. I don't know if we can make it in our stock Forester. This crazy SoCal boy thought it was smart to wear shorts. It's 37 degrees out. At least I brought a sweater. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm not too sure what the road conditions are going to be like. It looks like it snowed at the higher elevations this morning, uh, but the road looks clear so far. We'll see what we get into. Looks like we got a campground here on your left. We're going to have to check it out. Toad Springs Campground is a half a mile into the trail from Pine Mountain Club. Four of the sites have no table, no fire ring, and then the other four have picnic tables and fire rings. Just a real small campground. So far, it's pretty fun. There was like a rutted section right next to the, the campground. It wasn't too bad, pretty easy. And then, you know, a little rocky, but just take your time, go slow. It's beautiful back here. Something else I didn't consider, if you're new, to doing stuff like this. The cool thing about the Subaru is it has the hill descent control. And all you do is turn on X mode, press that button. And then when you're going downhill, press the gas, but then you let off the gas at the speed you desire. So I have, I have it set at five right now. And then you can see the little flashing so that it's working. And it's gonna control my speed at five miles an hour going downhill. So if you get to something a little that you're not comfortable with, two miles an hour. You can crawl this way the whole way down the hill and the car will do it all for you. Once you pass the campground and start heading down the mountain, there's not much room to turn around and there's a steep drop off on your left, so you're kind of committed. Once you've hit this sign, you're at the bottom and there's plenty of room to turn around. As 
funny it's still 37 degrees but i'm getting hot because i'm running to get the camera getting my exercise in so the, the cold's not bothering me anymore so definitely after you come down that hill that we just came down it's a little more just a regular dirt road another cool thing about this road is i've been having a hard time i've been coming out here and all the gates are locked a lot of the trails are closed uh, for whatever reason. I don't know if they just don't have uh, the manpower to keep up on it or or they close them every winter. But this road is wide open. So a little limited on what you can do out here in the Los Padres, I guess, in the winter time. But what you can do is still fun. You got the white knuckles holding on a tie. Keep your fears bottled up inside. Head down for collision in the night. To really live, you gotta die. Got a little ways to go but uh definitely the biggest part of the mountains behind us and uh we got this sign here for easiest heading this way i bet you that's fun i'm gonna have to research that and see what that is oh i want to take this trail now every time i see a trail i'm like i want to go down it oh my gosh so i, I just checked gaia this easy trail the 106 it goes right alongside the Catal Road. But we're gonna continue down Catal Road and save that for another day. Off-road trail, Catal Road. I really wanted to go down the 106, but being solo, I just wasn't too sure about doing that. So I decided to continue on, but I'm curious, what would you guys have done? This part of the road's super fun. A little faster. It's got these little little humps in it. That I I wouldn't recommend, but I think if you went fast enough, you could probably catch some air.
loving these Badlands. What'd you guys think of those? Super cool. This is a fun dirt road. Dippy, some places you can go a little quicker. Some areas where you need to slow down. But yeah, now we're in the valley more. I mean, we weren't at the top of that mountain, but we were up there. I'm having an absolute blast. So question answered, could we make it down Catal Road in a stock Subaru Forester? Yeah, we can. Stopped at this really cute place in Ventucopa called The Place. Got me a club sandwich and a Dr. Pepper. Well, that's the end of this video, guys. Let me know what you guys thought. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And we'll see you on the next day trip adventure.